So I have got a sister called Beth who is really like me, we look really similar, people always think that we're twins, but we're not. And one of the things you need to know about Beth is that at the moment she's got a brace, um, just for like a year or something. Do you know one of the ones that you can take out when you eat? So we're sitting in a coffee shop recently and Beth takes out her brace and puts it in a napkin on the table and we have a bit of a catch up and just as we're finishing, she looks at me like wide-eyed and I'm like, what? And I realise the table's clear, the napkin's gone, the lady's cleared away everything, and the brace is in the bin. And, and we were like, oh no! Like, what are we gonna do? So, um, she had to get her brace replaced. <laughs> she had to get her brace replaced. That rhymes. And a couple of weeks later, I get a text from Beth saying something like, I'm on a night shift, just threw the remains of my toast in the bin with my brace. And I was like, oh no! So that was brace number two in the bin. And then we went out for lunch last week with my brother for my birthday, which is lovely. And you can probably guess what's gonna happen. So we sit in there, lovely lunch. And just as we're finishing, she grabs my arm all wide eyed. And I'm like, what? No, you haven't again. And she was like, I have. The table was clear and, and her brace had been taken away by the waiter. Um, and that, my friends, is number three. Brace number three in the bin, yes. <laughs> So all this has got me thinking about changing the way that we do things, like making sensible choices. It does not seem like a sensible choice for Beth to put her brace in a napkin because it ends up in the bin. So here is my question. Is there something that you've been doing that you need to change? My sister would probably say, I want to stop throwing my brace away. But you might say, I want to stop always arguing with my parents or I want to stop always falling out with my friends or I want to stop always having really low grades in my exams or maybe you might say I want to stop um, getting myself into unhealthy bad relationships. So if you identify something that you regularly do that you want to change, how? How are you going to change that cycle of, of doing things? Okay, so my sister might say, I need to buy a little case for my brace, a, a case for my brace, a brace case, or I need to um, put the napkin straight into my bag. If you're always arguing with your parents and you really want it to change, you could um, try to identify why do these arguments start? Is it that you feel angry or upset about something that actually you need to sit down together and talk about calmly or maybe the arguments actually start when you're feeling tired and you need to recognize that and maybe take yourself away to your bedroom when you're in danger of saying something that you don't mean if you want to stop always falling out with your friends what changes can you make what can you do to be the best friend that you can possibly be is it that you need to be kinder is it that you need to gossip about your friends less or maybe you need to make a choice to change the group of friends that you spend time with who actually aren't bringing out the best in you. Maybe you're totally fed up with doing bad in your exams and getting low grades but actually you know deep down that you're not working as hard as you could and that's where you need to make a choice to be really determined to work really hard to do the best you possibly can and maybe not get as distracted in the lessons as you have been. And maybe you want to change the fact that you've been getting yourself into bad relationships that have hurt you. And maybe for you, it's a choice to be single for a while, to rediscover the fact that you are special, that you are valuable and that you deserve to be respected rather than looking for love in all the wrong places with all the wrong people. It's when you learn to respect yourself that you start looking for people that will respect you too. We all have patterns of behaviour that we need to change sometimes, I know I do. So here's my challenge for you, identify where you need to make a new sensible choice and watch the difference that it makes to you and the people around you and the difference it makes to your brace, Beth. <laughs>